welcome to my channel. I know every one of you doesn't know me yet. Well, my name is C and this is actually my first vlog. So I hope all of you can subscribe to my channel. Today on my video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to make a tutorial on how to make your Instagram stories uh, more creative. And also I'm going to teach you on how to play with colors, how to make your photos more like artsy something like that I hope you guys will enjoy watching this video and i hope you can hit the like button after let's go ahead and start so the first one is the blinking neon font for this one you just need to do the normal edit photo then tap on stickers then search for diamond and then you're going to choose the one with the flashing mixed diamond colors so this is the one that i'm going to choose there and then zoom it in until it covers the entire screen there okay then you need to save the video so after saving it once it's in your gallery you need to open it again you need to go back to Instagram pull up the video then tap the brush icon choose any color that you want then tap anywhere and it will instantly covers the screen then go to your gallery and choose any photo that you want, copy it, and go back to your Instagram application. And something will pop up, then tap add stickers. There you go. So the last step is to use the eraser brush and write anything that you want. Your name or whatsoever, any code, and it will give you the fabulous blinking font. So here, I'll type in love C. there you go then save it so the next one is actually very easy you just need to get a blank background then copy a photo then go back to your Instagram add the sticker form it in the center actually it's my preference but you can put it anywhere on the screen so just type in any word that you want using the typewriter font so me I'm choosing life is beautiful because this is my favorite code there so I'm gonna make it two layers so after this one I'm going to copy it all so let's make it effortless let's copy until you fill in the page so you don't have to type it all there okay another one then make it like smaller I'm going to paste another one okay so i'm gonna be adding more until it fits in the screen so basically what we're doing right now is just copy and paste. You can reverse the photo from left to right and you can actually click on the photo simultaneously to bring it forward. I guess this one is fine. Another one. There. Okay. There we go. Just reverse it bring it forward there save it so the third one is actually more easier you just need to pull up your favorite photo I'm choosing this one I was in the Petronas Tower in Malaysia last year and the photo is stunning actually so I'm gonna be using again the typewriter font and I'll be putting my favorite code which is live alive to the fullest because why not <laughs> so I put the first word vertically so that at least it can blend in the photo and at the same time um, it can you know have a design mix well this one the second word which is life so I put it in horizontal to balance the text and then also the same with the next words so we now have live life to the and the last word is the fullest and so I'm gonna be changing the font to neon 
Also, I will pick a color from the photo itself so that it will be matchy. I'll be choosing the lightest one. There, and I'm going to be putting it in the center. So just put it properly. Then next, you need to pick a color from the photo itself for the shading. So just choose another color that will blend the word fullest as it has yellow so I'm gonna be picking this light blue so tap the brush icon and just shade it like that and there you go it's done so the next one is for travel so just choose any photo that you want from your account and then we're gonna be using the silhouette technique so we'll be using the border style of the font classic and I'll be typing these dots. So just pick a color that will blend into the photo. So do also the same thing for the down part. For this one, I suggest choose a color which is darker from the first one. So that the colors will be balanced. Next, we're going to be adding some text. So I'm choosing the typewriter font and I'll pick a color which is a little bit darker and you can type any text that you want. And let's use the blinking brush and put some dots on the text itself. So I'll choose a lighter color. Then we'll put the dots between the letters. Then I'll just be adding some lines on top. Just to add a design. Last would be the GIF, so just search the word autumn.
and another one. This actually took a little time, but the photo looks amazing. There you go. So the last one is actually very easy. We'll be doing a sunset inspiration. Basically, what we're going to be doing is just to type multiple words with different colors. So just pick a color from the photo itself so that it will be matching. And just type anything that you want, location preferably, of the photo. So here, since it was taken in Ras Al Khaimah, I'll put this one using the typewriter font. And then, just to make a little design, I'll choose the blink brush. And I'll put it between the text. There you go, it's done. Thank you so much guys for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. In case you have any suggestions, please comment it down below.